Hello, hi, YouTube, Zach here. Uh, this video is one of our series on hyponatremia, and if you haven't seen the intro video yet, it might not make much sense. So, uh, why don't you hit that button and check it out first? Or don't, whatever, you're cool. Free country. To recap, you've got a patient with hyponatremia, low sodium, with a low serum osmolality and high urine osmolality. Urine sodium is also low, and the patient appears hypervolemic, edematous. Concentrated urine with a low sodium content suggests that both the co-transporter and ADH are working overtime to suck salt and water out of the urine. This can be a normal physiological response to dehydration, but in a patient that we already know to be hypervolemic, it's more likely due to an edematous condition such as heart failure, cirrhosis or nephrotic syndrome. In this situation, intravascular volume is low, despite the patient being overloaded. All of the fluid is out here, in the elephant graveyard. Again, ADH and aldosterone are putting their back into it, trying to rehydrate someone who looks wet, but behaves like they're dry. Because the fluid is in the wrong place. Investigating and managing these conditions is beyond the scope of today's video. For the time being, it's enough to recognise that they can cause hyponatremia and that this is how it would present. Click here to find out more about hypovolemic or euvolemic patients.